this year is the eighth year of the Hyundai Commission for Tate Modern's Turbine Hall and this year we have commissioned the Ghanaian artist Ellen Atsui who with his studio worked with over two million bottle tops and fragments to imagine a work in three acts for the Turbine Hall forming expansive uh, free-flowing sculptural forms and they're very much rooted in Elle's interest in histories of migration, both of goods and people. Ellen Atsui came to the Turbine Hall on a number of site visits, as artists that we commission, of course, do. And when he entered, uh, one of the most vivid memories that I have is that he spoke of it as a ship. And for Ellen Atsui, the histories of migration and movement of goods and people have been absolutely embedded in the material that he works with. So the aluminium bottle top is a kind of marker of an industry that was formed on colonial trade routes that connected Europe, Africa and the Americas. So Ellen Itzwi is an artist of great international acclaim. He has a career spanning over five decades. He was uh, born in Ghana and has spent most of his life living and working in Nsuka in southeast Nigeria. He's an artist, I think, who has routinely kind of worked with uh, materials in a way that have kind of certain social histories. And what he's interested in doing quite often is using these materials to kind of reveal something about our shared past. So actually, he's been based in West Africa purposefully throughout his career, dealing with the kind of materials that are readily available in his environment. And that actually isn't just a, a decision that one could say is, is economical. It's actually about the way he thinks about art. He's built an incredibly vibrant studio space where artists are trained, where they gain opportunities, where they gain a chance to really kind of find their language. And I would say that's what makes me especially proud to present his work here at the Turbine Hall, because it's not just um, a kind of a, an attempt of Tate working with an African artist to kind of signal an interest, you could say, in the representation of black or African artists, but in one of the greatest living sculptors being presented in his rightful space. So I like the idea that in a way this is a maybe an overdue recognition somewhat, but a recognition that means that generations of other artists will be inspired by Elle's work and then want to learn more about many of the unsung heroes that aren't as well known as Ellen Itsui. <laughs> Thank you. 
when you arrive into the, this grand, grand turbine hall, um, what's striking is the, the texture and the beauty of those sculptures that feel like tapestries. And in fact, it's almost like, a, for me, it was almost like a couture exercise, a bit of a lesson, if I may say, to the fashion world about using those taps, those, um, those, those um, leftovers from bottles and turning them into a meaningful, gigantic piece of clothes, basically.